Hello producers! This video is an activity for learning how to set the record levels in Audacity. If you're doing this activity as part of a course, we're going to produce a file at the end of the activity that you can submit to your instructor. Make sure you save that file in a safe location when you're done. Let's get started. You can see I have Audacity open here, and I'm assuming that you have your microphone configured properly. If you're not sure about that, watch the video tutorial on how to do that. We can check our recording level by clicking in the meter right here, and we can see what kind of level we have as I speak. If your level is too high, you can adjust the slider downwards to get a better level, or if it's too low, you can adjust the slider upwards. But be sure not to have it too high because you don't want it to clip by hitting the top of the meter right here and that will cause distortion. When you have a level that's set that's probably around two-thirds to three-quarters of the way up the meter, let's hit record and see how we do. Let's test. Check one, two, check one, two, three, four. That's a nice looking that's a nice looking waveform there. Okay, so now we're ready to record for real and we will get rid of this track by clicking the delete the delete X here in the corner of the track. Now, what we need to record for this activity is our alphabet. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And I click stop, of course, to end it. Be careful not to click pause. Pause will mess up your recording. You don't want that. Okay, so there we go. Now let's let's do fit to screen, uh, fit our project to the full screen. So there we go. We can see our full project. That looks pretty good. If you want, you can trim off the silence at the beginning by selecting with your with your mouse, and you can check the tutorial out uh, on how to do that. And you can also trim off the bit of extra sound at the end by selecting it with your mouse and clicking delete on your keyboard. And there we go. It's a nice recording. Now, if you if your recording is too uh, small, the waveforms are too small, in other words, the signal was too low, you need to delete this, turn up your uh, volume right here, your input volume level again, and try it again. If it's too high and it's peaking, once again, you need to delete this, the track you did, turn down your record volume, and try it again. Your, your instructor will give you a great mark if you have a nice thick waveform like this, that goes probably a third, two thirds to three quarters of the way between the center line and the outer edges of the track. So it's a nice thick waveform, but it doesn't clip and it's not too small or too quiet. There you go. Now let's, for the final piece, let's go to file, let's go down to export, and we're going to export this as an MP3. MP3, right there. So we choose it in our format and let's call it um, recording level activity and recording level activity and we'll save and I would skip the metadata you can put it in if you like but you don't have to and if you're not sure how to do that you can watch the tutorial on how to do that click OK and that is it we are done submit that file to your instructor and good luck